We do have breaking news that will have ripple effects in Washington and beyond. New Jersey Democratic Senator Bob Menendez, who is the chair of the House Foreign Relations Senate, Senate Foreign, Foreign, Foreign Relations, Relations Committee. Committee, he's being charged with corruption related charges for the second time in 10 years. He was charged, indicted before, and there was a hung jury, and now he's being charged again for something completely different. Let's get right to Kara Scannell for the details on this. Kara, what are you learning? Yeah, John, so the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Lower Manhattan has announced that they have brought bribery charges against Senator Menendez and his wife. And according to the prosecutor's office, that they allege that Menendez's wife had received hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes that they had done then used to help three New Jersey businessmen and the government of Egypt. This investigation has been going on for several years, and sources have told CNN that they have sent out rings of subpoenas to people seeking information about some of these businessmen and these relationships. Now, one of the businessmen is someone who has known Menendez's wife for a long time. Uh, he is someone that had obtained the exclusive right to export and certify halal meat to Egypt. That has been a focus of this investigation. And another one of the businessmen is a New Jersey developer and prosecutors were asking questions about him his communications with the senator and his wife so as you said though this is the second time in 10 years that senator menendez has been charged with bribery and corruption well welcome back to another episode of apparently when the truth is stranger than fiction today's special a deep dive into the cesspool of politics fiat and gold bars we get a lot to cover let's get it I swear, sometimes the movies write themselves. El Salvador Bitcoin critic Senator Menendez indicted for corruption. Oh yeah, good old dear Senator Menendez always looking out for us, right? Warning about the dangers of Bitcoin, kind of like a fish warning you about the dangers of water. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure we just put out a recent episode including President Nayib Bukele of El Salvador saying, I told you so. And here we are again. This guy actually called for an investigation against us. He ended up getting charged. Gold bar money stashed in jackets, googling gold prices. This is not a mafia movie. This is a sitting senator. Ladies and gents, welcome to the age where hypocrisy is not even trying to hide anymore. I mean, he may not have been searching for kilo of Colombian Bam Bam, but I mean, come on, we've all been there, right? You Google the price of gold bars and kilos after a particularly spicy lunch and then safely store them in your winter coats. That's just a typical Tuesday. Oh, the good old Cantillon effect at work. Especially the money of criminals. I mean, look. Now, when it comes to luxury cars, I mean, if you're going to allegedly dive into corruption, why not do it with the wind in your hair from the comfort of a convertible? Style points for that, Senator. Antes la gente no podía abrir, abrir negocios, ni visitar a sus seres queridos. No querían mucho mandar a, a la escuela a sus hijos. El Salvador, que por tantos años fue de las pandillas, al fin es nuestro. Now go ahead and contrast all that with El Salvador, a nation brave enough to say, to hell with the norm, we're going Bitcoin, revolutionizing their economy, banking the unbanked, and what do they get? Warnings and critics from the morally upright. But while some in our illustrious chambers are reportedly busy with pass the envelope games, El Salvador is playing 40 chess with Bitcoin, transparent, audible, no closets, jackets, or Googling required. Let's just pause here. In one corner, we got a nation transparently leveraging technology to lift its people. In other, we got envelopes, jackets, fiat, and secret gold bars. Oh my. And they say reality TV is wild. Guys, we know the history of statism is rife with the theft of people's personal property. If you want to protect your generational wealth and make sure that you're doing it the right way, remember, not your keys, not your cheese. The Bitcoin way is your IT team in the Bitcoin world, and you can schedule a 30-minute call with them using the link below if you need help with wallet and nodes, no KYC purchases, and just in general best practices. They can get you started on your Bitcoin journey. Well, there he is again, Senator Menendez. Uh, you got to admire the audacity to attack Bitcoin, El Salvador. You know, a government beginning to operate on a transparent, audible financial system. While this clown goblin allegedly is wrapped up in a web of secrecy, it's like a fisherman complaining about getting wet. So, I mean, who's the real villain here? Bitcoin with its transparent ledger, open source software, finite supply, and able to be manipulated by the bums in Washington like that guy? Or the old world clutching to power with alleged bribes and hidden agendas? You know what? Next time you hear a tale about Bitcoin, ask yourself who really benefits from you 
fearing it. Who's got a stake in the game? As we wrap up, remember the world's changing. Some will dig their heels in. Others are going to embrace the future, but always, always follow the money, or in this case, the, the fiat and the gold. Hey, stay sharp, stay informed, and if you ever find any gold bars in your jacket, I know a senator who might be missing some. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Let's go crush it this week. Peace. President Bukele noticed the change too. And on September 7th, 2021, made El Salvador the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender. This made millions of people aware of El Salvador for the first time. As a result, in 2021, the country received $600 million more in tourism than they projected. Today, tourism and investment continue to pour in, and it's giving hope to millions of Salvadorans.